bestie, gather around. Oh my gosh, grab whatever it is that you be sipping on, grab whatever you, it is that you be smoking on. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we need to have a, a little chat. There is so much ish going on behind your back, behind the collective's back. And I gotta tell you the tea, cause we're not having it. If I'm a little, I'm drinking some Red Bull, been working all day, it's very needed. You guys know when um, the days that I'm doing doubles, I be getting out the Red Bull for the second part of the day. And I wasn't going to film just yet, but I feel like because it's on some sneaky, sneaky stuff, we need to talk about it. So grab your snacks, grab your bestie, grab your little dog. If you don't have a little dog, grab your neighbor's dog, grab whatever, just grab it all. I'm trying the new peach, no, apricot and strawberry Red Bull. And I never drink the whole thing. I just get a little one because like just a little bit. I'm just like, ooh, but it's juicy. It's really good. You are a hot topic right now. I mean, like, if your ears are burning, tell me. Tell me if your ears are burning because you know everyone is talking about you. Literally everyone. Everyone's got something to say. Everyone's putting in their two cents. No one is coming to the source, aka you. Your enemies are being silenced. And you guys can feel like you have a lot of them. But your enemies are being silenced. You deserve to be ahead of these games. There's a lot of different games being played. And there's a lot of people, bestie, that are not taking accountability during this transit. Now remember, these readings are timeless. But during this transit, don't even waste your time. Don't even waste your time. And as soon as you catch on to somebody interrogating you, as soon as you catch on to somebody being weird, just toodaloo, skedaddle, don't bother, put your phone on silent, put your phone on do not disturb, because these people are, they're coming from everywhere, like arrows being drawn from every direction. You are like Bambi, okay, collective bestie. You are like Bambi in the forest, minding your own business, being all cute and mystical. And you look up from your mystical walk and there's all these arrows drawn at you. That is because you guys are on the verge of something big and it's your form of liberation. Each and every one of you that resonate with this message, you are going through a breakthrough, a transformation where you are redefining what being liberated looks like to you. And people around you can sense this. They have their arrows drawn. They've got their weapons drawn. Like, they're pissed. On top of that, everyone's gossiping, talking, um, they're plotting, planning, and you guys deserve to be 19 steps ahead. You guys deserve to be 30 steps ahead of this BS. Everyone can see that you are naturally the star. You're sweet, you're kind, you're charming, you're enchanting, you're just a gem. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are naturally a gem to be around. People are very intrigued by you. That was a Harley. Confirmation. People are very intrigued by you because you're... I hope that you guys can hear that. I might just turn up just that part so you guys can really, 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 really hear it. I'm going to try to turn up the volume just during that part because I want you guys to hear it. People are naturally intrigued with you by the fact that you've been through so much. You're a tough cookie. You have thick skin, but you're so optimistic and positive and lighthearted that people are just really attracted to your light. Now, while there's a lot of people attracted to your light, there's a lot of people jealous of your light. There's people that you recently cut off that are really missing your light. They're really like looking around to be like, oh my gosh, like where have they been? What are they doing? I, I want to know how they're doing. But anybody that was 
messing about with your reputation, not taking you seriously, ghosting you, flaking out on you, um, anyone that was gaslighting you. I feel like there were friends that you are pulling away from right now. There's acquaintances, people that you've collaborated with where you are pulling away from them and some of them didn't even notice until just now or they didn't know what to say. You guys are going to have a lot of people confronting you this week. You are going to have a lot of people asking you questions. Okay, I don't know if I should say confronting because a lot of these people don't have the, you know what, to even approach you. They're not that bold. They would like to think that they are, but a lot of people don't have the courage to even properly talk to you. And so what's going to be happening is people are going to be interrogating you. They're going to be asking you questions. They're going to be asking things very backhanded or sideways. Instead of it just being direct, it's immediately going to raise red flags because of the way that they're asking a question. Okay, so say they should be asking you how like you're doing. They're going to be asking you how so-and-so over here is doing. And then some people that you've been pulling away from energetically and in the 3D, they're going to be reaching out like, are you okay? When realistically, they should be reaching out and apologizing to you for however they've been treating you, hence why you're pulling away. Instead of them taking the accountability and saying, you know, I effed up, I I wasn't responsible or I was reckless with this or I flaked out on you, ghosted you, whatever it was, instead of them holding the accountability for the friends that you are starting to scoot away from, you're going to be a little annoyed, okay? I feel like you're going to handle it with a lot of grace, but you're going to be a little annoyed that they're, they're not coming with the apology. I'm so sorry I did A, B, C, D, E, F, G and wanting an explanation from you. Now, bestie, some of you guys could be the type of person that would normally say, I'm so sorry, I had to do this. You're not going to say sorry. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're not going to say sorry if that's what you normally do. It's literally going to be opposite day. You're going to state your case with everyone that wants to interrogate you and you know just how much information to give them. And you, some of you guys are going to be turning the answer in, back into a question. So let's say they're like, oh, how is so-and-so, 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 all of these people in your life. You're literally going to say good, good, and good because you know they know more information than they're stating. So you know that this is already sus. And then you're going to say good, 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 and good. Everybody's good. How is this, this, and that? Crickets. So people are acting really sus around you. You guys are going to be getting a lot of people reaching out to you that normally do not reach out to you. And then people that don't normally like own up to their ish, they're just going to be reaching out to you, but they're not going to really be owning their stuff. This is like the past coming back with a vengeance because it's going to be family from the past, besties from the past exes from the past, acquaintances, like everybody's going to want to ask you questions. Everybody wants to know things and you're like, wait, what? Because some of you guys know they already know the answers. They already know the answers to the questions that they are answering. This is why you're frustrated. You know that their arrow's drawn. You might not see it with the first two questions because Whoever I'm speaking to, you really want to believe the best in people. But there are people teaming up against you. These enemies are forming alliances for whatever reasons. I'm going to see if I can find out. But for whatever reason, they're forming alliances. They're talking behind the scenes and they're sending one speaker of the group, one speaker of the house to go and speak to you. Whoever they think you will actually answer is who they're going to send towards you. So say you're not talking to like a whole entire family group, whatever, they're going to send the one family member that is speaking to you. But you're going to already know the red flags are going to be loud to you because this could be somebody you don't normally talk to. But it's somebody that you respect, you would like for them to stay out of it, and they're inserting themselves in questions that they would not normally ask you. Okay, say... um. Let me give you guys an example of a red flag. 
they're going to be asking you how you're doing. And then if they start asking how other people are doing and they are no longer with us, like they have passed away, say they're asking about like how your dog is doing and your dog passed away, or they, they're asking how like a cousin is doing or an uncle is doing. And you know that they, pa you know that they know that they passed away. They, they're wanting you to say, I don't know, somebody's trying to gather information and they are sending a speaker of the house, a speaker of the group. They're sending somebody else because they don't want to look like they're the ones asking and you are already going to know where this is coming from. Okay, for those of you where this is your parents and they have recently betrayed you or it is a parent that has recently betrayed you because we're in the um, the transit that we're in, they're going to send somebody like a grandparent, an aunt, an uncle, a cousin, a sibling to come ask you questions that they already know the answers to. They could literally be on the phone with them while they're texting you, asking you said questions. It's going to rub you the wrong way. Whoever I'm speaking to, it's going to rub you the wrong way. As you guys are being stalked and trolled by a lot of different people, your enemies with their arrows drawn as you're Bambi in the woods, minding your bees, your literal, literal business, people see that you are in serenity. They, are, they see that you're calm. Maybe normally you would answer said questions or call things out and you would do it in a, in a, in a certain way. Maybe really hot or maybe really like nice. And however you would normally do that, you're coming through like monotone, balanced. You are going through this renewal and this breakthrough is, is I don't know if like the enemies can smell it. I don't know what they'd be sipping on. Whatever they'd be sipping on, they like know that you are like going through this quantum leap. They know that you are moving towards a great period in your life and it's like devil energy is afoot you guys are going to stay calm this is really going to shock people because normally they know how you act with other people or other family members and they're like they're kind of scared but they're doing it anyways like kind of trying to say oh, I'm the brave one I'll go ask them and then they're asking you and they're like I don't know because of how they're how you're going to be answering them it's you're going to be making people nervous right now. Okay, whatever besties I'm speaking to, you are making people nervous AF. They don't want to admit this though. They want to know how happy you are, how in love you are. I don't know. People think that you are living in a life of luxury. Okay, people think that you are living in a life of luxury right now. They think that you have all of these streams of income. They think you're spoiled. Comment down below. The universe is my sugar daddy. God chose me for this industry. People are sensing because they're... Maybe before when you like would need family help, there was this feeling of like desperation or like anger because you're like, you're my family. You should help me. And they would dangle it on a carrot, dangle it on a string. They would not be the people you would ever want to owe. But people can sense or smell that you're thriving because you're not picking up shifts. You're not really at work. You're calling out. You're taking time off. You're taking vacation. You've requested time off. You're not really coming to family functions. You're not really talking to anybody. You're not really asking anybody for any type of assistance or help. Whatever the case is, People can sense that you are comfortable. They can sense that you're thriving. You're more independent. Like you got your head on straight and you've always had your head on straight for the most part. You know, you could have had a period of time where you weren't like your best self, but they know that there's something different this time and whatever wall they are trying to penetrate, they are going to be silenced. They are going to be shut down. They are going to be warned. They are going to hit a literal brick wall. Because these people are all gathering together trying to figure out how to create obstacles for you and barriers and it's not going to happen. Your destiny is to thrive. So let's talk about what's going to be happening for you. You're going to be tapping into wealth very soon. You are going to be tapping into luxury that you haven't really seen before. And I'm excited for you guys. Comment down below. I am redefining luxury. The scales are being balanced. I am ready to thrive. I am the star. 
I am marinating in serenity. I am calm. My wishes, my hopes, and my dreams are coming true. To you, bestie, there is no more, I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try to do that. There is no trying. Trying isn't going to get you anywhere. And so you're like, no, I'm doing that. That's going to be like your new motto of this new year that we're going into is I'm just going to do it. There is no more. I'm going to try to pay that off. I'm going to try to manifest that. I'm going to try to talk to this person. I'm going to try to ask for this promotion. It's not going to be any of that. It's, it's shit or get off the pot. That is the type of momentum that you're going into. Now, I'm not saying that you're there just yet, but this is like the mindset that you're wanting to have because you are wanting to really get rid of certain scarcity aspects, scarcity thinking that you just realized is still in your life. Maybe it's a vice that you have. Maybe it's a very small vice in the scheme of things, but it's something that keeps you in a scarcity mindset telling you that you're not okay to numb or to not numb certain things. Maybe it's holding off on paying bills even though you know the money's in your account. Maybe it's not wanting to look at your bank account even though you, though you know there's money in there. So that you're looking at certain things that keep you in scarcity and people around you, they just smell something cooking. They know something's cooking in the kitchen but they don't know what it is and they really want to know like your cosmic blueprint they want your cheat codes never ever ever i can't you guys are going to like right now you're like in thinking mode not quite hermit mode because you're having to interact with a lot of people but i feel like if you had your way you would really be secluded you guys are going to be going from Hermit mode, quiet, calm, to fast, fearless, brave, daring, direct. And you're just trying to really be balanced with not going against the flow of things, but being direct, being daring. Comment down below. I am daring, direct, fearless, and brave. I'm going to say that again. I am daring, direct, fearless, and brave. No one is ready for this. Like you're going to go from silent to like, whoosh, like off to the races. People are going to be like, oh my gosh, Bambi is on the move. Okay. Bambi is on the move. They're going to go, you're going to go from sniffing the flowers and everyone having their arrows drawn to boom, cloak of invisibility. They know that you're gone. They don't know where you're at. You deserve to be ahead of this BS. You guys are very close to your blessings, the arrows that people are pointing at you. People are acting really shady and you are going to rise up. So be grateful. Amazing things are happening for you. Like my stars, my star messengers, you guys are rising up. You guys are getting smarter. You guys are getting brighter. Like you are coming in swift. Like no one points nothing at Bambi. Okay? No one. We're not taking any poisonous apples. There's a lot of people with some type of spell work. You guys could be an islander or like Polynesian um let me know if you guys are like for me I'm Hawaiian and African-American and Japanese so there you guys could have like family members that are you know paying a practitioner doing all kinds of crazy things like and they're dead ass serious because when they cut you out or when you cut them out of your life you meant it no matter how many times you've done it before, the people that you've cut off, whether it's a parent or a sibling or an ex, whoever this is, they know that you're not going backwards. Not if you can help it. And I know a lot of you guys are working on forgiving whoever these people are from afar, but you can feel that they are attacking your marriage, they are attacking your relationship, they are attacking your money, they are attacking your thought process, and you are... You refuse to be just a deer in headlights. You refuse. We have this strength card. 
you guys are tapping into bravery. You are learning to be patient, patient with your gifts, patience with understanding who you are and the things that are coming in for you. Like, I'm very proud of you. Maybe normally you're very impatient and you're like, you know, sometimes like irrational like or impatient. You're like, I need this now. I need to fix this now. And you are really learning that anything that's making you rush because of lack, you're like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I got to stop that. I don't like that. That's keeping me in lack. And where I'm going in this, this new year, none of that's taking place. None of that's happening. So you guys, we got the star, the nine of pentacles, the knight of swords, the strength card, the high priestess, the four of pentacles, which I feel like is you guys still holding on to a little bit of scarcity. Um, there could be things that you're hoarding, things that you're not ready to let go of, baggage that you're holding on to. So we're going to talk about that. We have the lovers and we have the four of swords. I'm sensing that if you guys have been having a lot of anxiety, you're going to be sleeping more, getting more rest. You are figuring out how to work smarter and not harder. You're done overworking yourself. Like, truly. You are done feeling anxious going to the job that you hate. Like you are in this shit or get off the pot mindset. You're like me wanting to go to this job, thinking that this job is all I deserve. That's keeping me in lack and I'm outgrowing this job and the people around me. And so I have to flourish. I have to grow. I It's like Bambi is getting a, a new forest to go to you have outgrown the forest the enchanted forest that you're in or the forest that you thought was enchanted is not really the case so you're really going to be upgrading you guys are breaking free people feel like you guys are rebellious because you guys get away with things that like they don't or this is how they feel they feel like oh collective gets away with things it's not fair um and i feel like it's a lot of jealousy because you stand up for yourself in a, in a very like definitive way. There's a way that you stand up for yourself where it is to be respected. You're not being disrespectful. But people that are insecure, people that are lazy, it's like they, they have to like seek revenge. They have to like get, they have to plot. They can't just take the fact that you served it with respect that you served it with like all these little niceties. They, they, they don't like that. You guys have been training for this. Comment down below, I have been training for this. You guys have been dealing with the repetition of spell work, people sending you all types of shit. You guys have been dealing with the repetition of people gossiping about you, people trolling you, stalking you, all of the above. You guys have dealt with the repetition and people keeping you on your toes. You're done with that. People around you that are always plotting, that want to keep Bambi on their toes, it's not happening like that anymore. Comment down below, I keep people on their toes. I stand on business. My upgrades are here. I'll be there with bells on, literally. You can't hear them, but they're so cute. And what you guys are realizing is you're going to start moving swiftly towards knowing the fact that you have options because you know that if you don't start moving towards it and you hold on to the job that you hate, the person that you can't stand, the friends that are mean to you, whoever these, whatever these cases are, you are realizing that you have to like remove it, pluck it from your life. And you can't just try anymore. You can't just like mosey towards this. You know that you have to start being direct you have to start being more daring so there is something that you've been possessive over there is a position that you've been possessive over um there's something where you're like i know i've outgrown it but i don't know how to let go of it this could be a vice where you feel frugal okay say it's somebody borrowing money from you or borrowing an item from you and you cannot help but say okay can you like return that and it's gonna bother you until it's returned or it's gonna bother you until it's paid back these are certain things where you're like okay that makes me feel like I'm crazy that makes me feel like I'm not in control I have to stop that okay whatever is making you feel insecure like you have to hoard certain things or be possessive like that's mine like put it back the number needs to be at this number or my closet needs to look like this like I need it back I need it back I need it back 
whatever makes you feel like you're not in control, like you guys are like, you're looking at it and you're facing it head on. I'm very proud of you. You guys have built a lot of resilience. You have a lot of compassion towards yourself. You guys are getting an upgrade in your sacred site, your sacred wisdom. There are a lot of secrets being uncovered and you are figuring out a lot of different things about your subconscious. So your subconscious is going through an upgrade. Your subconscious is going through a level up. We have the lovers. There is a choice that you guys are making. There is a big choice where you, I feel like, and you guys can let me know if I'm right, where you have to make a really important decision where you have to put yourself in the spotlight. Some of you guys are having to walk away from a certain dynamic, a certain environment to put yourself in the limelight when you're all, when you already have arrows drawn and that could be really frustrating. You're like, I really don't want to put myself out there. I don't want to put this out there, but you feel like it's your higher calling or you feel like it's your divine mission with your person. And you know that people are already nosy, they're already intrusive, they're already going to be snooping, they're already going to be doing all of these things, but this is also something that you're going to be releasing. This is also something you guys are going to be healing from is knowing that you can't control them, knowing that you are divinely protected, that you are divinely favored, and like this is your birthright. It is your birthright to be the star, to help others want to renew their life, to bring faith and hope and joy into other people's lives and you're really going to have to be vulnerable and honest with what your fears are like okay maybe you're going to be praying like god i know that you want me to do this but like this this and that so you're really going to be having hard conversations with yourself or hard conversations with a loved one. Now, for some of you guys, this could be a person that you're meeting and you're going to have to be vulnerable with the fact that you have certain insecurities. Um, I'm just seeing that you guys are having a heart to heart conversation with somebody that you care about. There's an important decision that you're making. Maybe you guys are deciding to like move in or start a business together or um, get married. Something about taking your relationship to the next step and if it's not about a relationship, it's about taking a job or your calling to the next step. And it could be a little bit terrifying to you. Like you guys know that you can handle it, but you know it's going to come with a lot of evil eye. It's going to come with a lot of swords and arrows and wands pointed at you. And you're like, oh my gosh, like I really, really don't want to deal with that on a day-to-day -day basis. And so you're trying to, you know, deal with, Building your stamina, honing in on your skills, and you're also realizing that as the star, you are very impressionable, bestie. You have many options. You have mental insight. You are divinely favored. There's something about you guys being childlike, and when you are in certain environments or around certain people, you are not able to be yourself. You are not able to like be this vibrant whatever and when you are, these people make you feel bad about it. Say you're singing, they're like, uh, or say you're dancing, they're like, oh my gosh, like they just make you feel bad, like whether you're in love, whether you're winning, whether you're getting promoted, no matter what it is, these people make you feel weird, like you're doing something wrong. I'm getting a lot of Gemini energy, okay, so you guys let me know if you are a Gemini, sun, moon, or rising, and sidereal, or tropical. You guys are feeling a lot of security at home, okay? You guys are feeling a lot of security at home and you are going to have this youthful glow where you need to be, you need to feel supported. You guys don't feel supported in the environments that you're in. There are secrets that are going to be revealed. I'm also getting strong cancer vibes, okay? So you guys give me a cancer, sun, moon, or rising in tropical or sidereal. Let me know in the comments. But I'm also getting cancer very strongly. You guys are, you, you can sense the deception. You can sense the people wanting to know all about what's going on with you. You guys are, you have the nine of pentacles here twice. 
It is your birthright, bestie. It is your destiny to be able to have multiple streams of income through your spirituality. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're like, it is in the stars. Like, it is written. You are chosen. Okay, I'm trying not to point and like it all. Ah, like crazy. But do you know what I mean? You guys are destined to create residual income where you don't have to work your whole life. You get to retire early. And so you're going to be figuring out like, oh my gosh, I got to start this now. Like, because you're really starting to see this luxury and this abundance. It's not outside of you. It is actually for you. And so you're going to really start meditating and visualizing yourself with this abundance. You guys are going to start doing different manifestation techniques. And things are going to be coming in really, really fast. So maybe normally you guys would be slow to have fun. You would be slow to show your childlike self in front of others. I'm just getting that there's a lot of people trying to slow down your skills. There are a lot of people trying to slow down your efforts. And they are going to be silenced. I don't know what they, they're even thinking. Like they don't even know that they're about to be silenced. But this is going to be unfolding within the next one to two weeks. That's the timeline I'm being given. In the next one to two weeks, your enemies are going to be silenced, stunned, like muzzled. You feel me? And all these people sending you messages, emails, like blowing your stuff up, being intrusive, wanting to know the, the who, the what, and the where. You're going to be replying to some of them and telling them what time it is. And then they're going to be like stunned that they can't really get away with saying anything crazy. So they're going to plot behind the scenes because you are keeping it cordial. You are keeping it cute, blunt, and honest. Like you are literally being blunt, but nice. And they're like, well, what do I do with that? They don't even know. So you guys are silencing them in multiple ways. They're being silenced by their karma. They're being silenced by some of their peers that are like, you should leave them alone. We have the wheel of fortune. You guys are going to be getting a big, like, I don't know what is coming in for you guys money-wise. I don't know. Somebody here is getting a house. You guys are going to be able to buy a house in the next year. You guys are going to be able to get a car or a house or something that you've, like, you didn't think that you'd ever be able to get anytime soon. Somebody's going to be able to get a license of some kind. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments if you guys are, are feel like sharing. There is a legacy here that you are creating, and this is what people want to stop. And maybe before when they knew you and earlier in life when they knew you, they, you never even thought you could go this far. And it's a new day. Comment down below, bestie. It's a new day. My legacy is my birthright. Your birthright. We have the world. You are at a stage of completion. And when I mean that you guys have been outgrowing people, like you've been outgrowing them. It's like feeling like Alice in Wonderland. Like you are getting bigger and the room is getting smaller. And you're just like, oh, I don't fit in this. Like you're like this. You're like, I don't fit in this room anymore. Like F this situation. I'm done. I can't pretend I fit in this little room anymore. Like it's getting harder and harder for you to pretend. So we have the train and we have movement. Let's talk about it. As your enemies are being silenced, a lot of people are shocked. They are speechless by the way that you are focused. You guys don't share a lot of information with people, so they don't even know what you're focused on. They just know that you are focused, that you got big things going on behind the scenes. You guys are moving on. There is a new endeavor here, and this new endeavor has the world card, the knight of pentacles. This new endeavor has the wheel of fortune, the star, the lovers, like, like the strength card. We have the three of wands. You guys are getting ready for your ships to come in. Like there is no ifs, there's no ands, there's no buts. 
and it's because you guys are maneuvering a different way, it's time to enjoy your freedom. The first way that you silence your enemies is that you are liberated. When they see you singing, dancing, humming, being Bambi, being Cinderella, being happy and jovial and in your merriment, they know that whether you have the freedom up here or whether you have the freedom all around you, they see that you have something that they don't have. This could be in your workplace where everyone's got to work, 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 work. And they're working overtime. They're working all these shifts. And you guys don't have to do that. And so they're like, why doesn't Veronica, why doesn't Collective have to work all of these shifts? And you guys are at home manifesting. These people want to know what you're doing. You're not telling them. You're not telling them. We have the Ten of Pentacles. You guys have so many amazing cards here, like holy Toledo, okay? And I pulled out my new decks. These people were trying to create roadblocks for you. Everyone has been gathering around trying to figure out how to send you spell work, trying to figure out how to embarrass you. I'm literally hearing the movie Carrie. They're all going to laugh at you. They're all going to laugh at you. Your enemies are going to be silenced. Okay, it's like in Carrie where all the doors shut and everyone's like, oh, we're all messing around and laughing and ain't nobody laughing now. You, you deserve to be ahead of all of this, literally. Then we have the Six of Swords. This is your transition where you are seeing, okay, this is a little bit of poverty. Okay, this is a little bit of scarcity. Okay, this is a little bit of things that I don't like. I got to fix that. I got to fix that. You have a lot of clarity on how you're going to transition, even though it's scary. You're like, I got strength. I am the star. I am the lion. I am the nine of pentacles. I am the world. I am the wheel of fortune. You are a lot of things. We have the yacht. Somebody here is going on a yacht. Somebody here is buying a boat. You guys are going to be buying toys, toy haulers, like things that you, going on vacations and excursions that you never thought possible. And I love that you guys are going to be keeping these things very private because so many people are already, like, you could live in the smallest place ever, okay? And you guys could just be making, like, a little bit of decent money and everyone's pointing their arrow at you like, like you won the lottery, like you own a yacht. Like, that's how people are treating you. Like, I know they have luxury in their life. How? Like, they should have the cheat code. How dare the heavens, the stars, and the creator give the cheat codes to you? They're not even cheat codes. It's just your path and your journey. Then we have the Eight of Cups. There are people that want you to abandon this. Leave that, leave that there. Leave that there for me. Put that down. They want you to walk away. So maybe some people have been trying to get you to quit a job. Even when you leave, bestie, people are going to be blown away. It's going to be a whole moment. Very iconic. However you guys are about to leave rooms, it's going to be a whole moment that they will be speaking about for years. Oh my gosh, remember how Collective quit? Oh my gosh, remember how Collective resigned? Oh my gosh, like, and now they're off on a yacht living their best life. These people, they want you to abandon that. Like, that's not for you. That's not for you. Who told you that was for you? They want to come over and knock over all your cups and say, oh, who did that? There's a lot of conspiring going on behind your back and you can feel it. You can sense it. And all of it is being revealed to you. You guys are the high priestess and you're sensing. You're like, okay, this sounds fishy. They're questioning me. This, they're messaging me. Who I haven't heard from them in forever. All of these things are taking place and you're like, hmm. I don't need to dig, dig, dig for the answers. I know it's all going to be revealed to me. It's all going to be revealed literally within this next week. And your enemies are being silent within the next one to two weeks, depending on where you're at on this timeline. Two weeks in the long scheme of things and one week in the short scheme of things. 
We have the microphone and the roses. Your voice is becoming amplified and you're not even saying many, very many words. And people are getting mad like, stop broadcasting your love. And you're like not even saying anything. You're just smiling in the corner. They're like, oh, stop. Stop speaking about yourself all the time. Like people are just mad. People are just mad. You guys are, you have a high emotional IQ. There are a lot of people infatuated with you right now because they're inspired by you. Like bestie, just because you have a lot of enemies and arrows pointed at you does not mean that there aren't 50 times more people that are like, I love what they're about. I'm inspired by them. I love being around, around them. And what all of these people that are jealous do not want to admit is their jealousy is really them being inspired in a very, very salty, low vibrational way. But they should just be like, I'm inspired. Collective inspires me to fall in love. Collective inspires me to um, follow my goals, journal, be more spiritual, you know, meditate, work out. You guys are speaking up. There is something that you are destined to do on social media. And that is going to be for like 90% of you. Okay, 90% of you are destined to broadcast something on social media. And you are the star. You are destined to either do public speaking, counsel, heal, teach. You guys. You guys are going from other people keeping you on your toes to you guys keeping other people on their toes. A lot of people have been trying to slow you down. They've been um, like, you're just minding your business. You're literally like, I want things to move slow right now. I have a lot to figure out. And they're like, no, all that stuff is moving slow because we made it move slow together, all of us. And you guys have a lot of people around you that are making anything you do, any little peep, any little movement that you do about them. Yeah, I can't. And it's almost like they want to make you, these people around you, they want to make you repeat lessons and you can't. You're not going to because A, that's not the program that you're on. Okay, they want to make you lose balance. Like you guys are graduating. We have the world card. You guys are graduating. But they want to make you repeat these lessons. Like, no, you need to put in more blood, more sweat, more tears. You know what bothers me about whatever enemies you guys are dealing with is something that they're projecting onto you is that you don't work hard enough. Because they just don't know how you're manifesting things. They're like, collective, they don't work hard enough. They're lazy and when they insinuate this to you, this could be a huge trigger. Like, they think I'm lazy. This is why I don't mess with these people, because they think that I'm lazy. That would bother me too. Okay, you can think a lot of things about me, but lazy ain't one of them. And they're just mad because you figured out your life. I can't. Okay, Holy Spirit, anything else? Whoa. Whoa, we have the chariot, victory, success, ambition. Comment down below. I am victorious. I am successful. I am in control. I am moving forward. I am ambitious, period. They're like, no, that's not your chariot. You're like, the fuck it's not. They're like, no, you're not the star. You're like, Nobody asked them. Nobody blinking, stinking asked them. And a lot of people are trying to keep things secret from you right now. You got it figured out, bestie. A lot of people are trying to keep things a secret from you because they're conspiring and you're already ahead of them. The things that they think that they're, they're keeping secret, they're not. That's another way they're going to be silenced because you already know. You already know what some of them are planning. We have the empress oh but own. i'm like you are nurturing you are fertile somebody here is getting pregnant if you're not trying to then be careful and you're glowing you are glowing 
your hair is glowing, your face is glowing, your smile is glowing. Yeah. There, um, there are a couple people coming in that want to make you guys revisit the past. And they're trying to rock your foundation, playing stupid games. Stupid games win stupid prizes. Okay, stupid games win stupid prizes. They're acting like, oh, I need you, I need you. But you know that they're full of shit. You know that they're full of shit. Yeah, we have the devil. Obsession, control, dominating. There are people around you, bestie, that are addicted. Your enemies are addicted to starting issues with you, starting drama with you. Like, they love it. They love it. They want to control you. Their ambition is surrounded by wanting to dominate you. Wanting to make you look like an addict. Want, making They, they want to make it look like they're, you're out of control. You're confused. You... You're in denial. You're always hiding. You have your head in the sand. You're lazy. No. 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 You guys are being very cautious of people right now. So comment down below. I am cautious. I am disciplined. I am grounded. You are safe to express yourself freely. Okay, you are safe to express yourself freely at this time. I don't know why people are... They're so blinded, like, by what you're doing. Because you're, you're in control of your emotions. You are in control of your emotions. And though people are trying to, like, hide things from you, bestie, like, you guys are going to, I don't know, you guys have a lot of people paranoid right now. You guys got people paranoid, they're, they're scared of, like, what's coming for you, like, what you're up to, and everyone's being really secret around you because they're fearful, and so they're trying to create an illusion that, like, you're not winning, Everyone's against you. Um, they could not be even talking about you, but they'll try to make it. Look, they're just trying to make you guys uncomfortable. And they can't. There's a lot of people trying to make you uncomfortable, bestie, and they can't because you are the magician. They don't like that. You don't have to ask them for resources. You naturally have your own. They're like, how'd they get that? How'd they get that pinnacle? How'd they get that sword? What? Where'd they get that from? You're just like, none of your freaking business. Okay, none of your business. I cannot. People are like, I'm always on a roundabout. They need to be on a roundabout. My chariot's busted. They need to be on a busted chariot. A lot of projecting, you guys. I know it's old. I know it's annoying, but it's... It looks like you guys are living in this fairy tale and the big bad wolf of the forest is like... Trying to look like your grandmother. I'm going to huff and puff and blow this house down. People don't like that you have like this cloak of invisibility. This cloak of safety. Yeah. Okay. Holy Spirit, any advice for the collective at this time? Whoa. You guys are going to start seizing your potential so confirmation that shit or get off the pot don't jam yourself up don't take on extra information that doesn't fit don't make yourself promises that will never come don't accept anybody in their empty words never jam today you're like all right i'm gonna seize my potential so comment down below i am steez i am steezing i am seizing my potential I told you guys confirmation. Okay, Spirit is saying you guys are going to have strange encounters. You're going to be like, why are they texting me? Why are they talking to me? What? I'm telling you, believe that you will have these strange encounters. Like, you're going to be like, I see you. I see you in the strange encounters. Like, I can't. Follow your own good advice. Trust yourself. 
you know what is best for you. Okay, trust yourself. Remember how I was telling you guys, you guys could have drafted certain messages to people that were like not minding their business and you were going to tell them what time it was. And then you could have had somebody else being like, oh, are you, you're not going to send that? You're not going to tell them to go F themselves? Like, what? And something is just telling you, like, so trust yourself. Something is telling you to just hold on because the encounters right now are going to be strange. So let me give you guys an example. We're all mad here is your guys' next card. There are certain people that you know that you're dealing with two if not three people where you know the marbles are completely gone the dogs are not even barking the macaroni is not in the microwave capiche and you know that if you have a back and forth with one of them one of these three people that like have issues with you all the time but pretend like they don't you know that they will turn it into the biggest he said she said so you're like I kind of just did myself a favor by not even sending that. They would have turned that into a whole embellished story where they would have played the victim and you just are realizing I'm intriguing. People are going to ask about me. And though you might not like in the form that it, the way that it was done, there are certain things that you are becoming more and more comfortable with people finding out about you. Maybe there were certain things where you're like, this is private to me and da, da 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 and I get that like moving in silence but there are certain people where they're gonna drag you into a type of light that you don't even want to be in because you're gonna end up being defending yourself and they're gonna be mad like you're gonna be fighting with them so some of you guys drafted something and you're like no they're gonna turn this into a whole strange encounter of telephone and I don't even want to be engaging with them like that they said what they said Maybe people won't even believe them because they're so full of shit or, you know, what is the point? What is the point? When have you addressed said people and they've actually done whatever without gaslighting you or getting really like vulgar or irritated or crazy? Like you guys need to trust yourself. You know what you're dealing with. Okay. You guys know what you're dealing with. Follow your own good advice. So you can always save that draft and always send it to them. You know, you can send it on a more calm day, a more toned down day. But you guys will know when it is best for you to address these people. There will come a point where it's like in front of a certain amount of people where they can't misconstrue it or you know what I mean? Like you guys will know when it's the right time to send what you have drafted to this person that has been interrogating people about you. You're just starting to realize like, okay, I'm the star. People are intrigued. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Correcting or covering up errors. You guys are no longer going to cover up errors. You're like, yeah, I effed up. Whatever. I'm not perfect. Comment down below. I honor my authenticity over perfection. Okay. I honor my authenticity over perfection. I love that for you guys. We're all a little mad here. You're like, I'm a little mad. They're a little mad. The two of us together. I don't know if that's a good situation. And I told you guys that um, with the drafting thing because there's a lot of karma unfolding. I keep getting this in every message. There is a lot of karma unfolding for everyone. And if we start like doing all of this, you did this to me. Uh, if we start getting in the mudslinging with them, we're going to be just as guilty. This is the reaping season and we don't need to reap any of that. This is time for you to reap your luxury, your star power, your gifts being enhanced, your um, feeling grateful, knowing that you're resourceful, knowing that you're going to be okay, going through this transition. You don't need to be covering up errors and asking for forgiveness later. You know what I mean? So... Everyone is a little different and you're like, forget them. They're not even worth it. They're not even worth it. They are not worth me dealing with a bunch of ish you don't need to deal with. I want to be a queen. Standing or stating your sovereignty. You guys are going to be stating your sovereignty by people interrogating and wanting to know things about you. You're going to be declaring your freedom. This is almost like an, initi an initiation or a test for you guys where you thought like, no, I should have said something to them. But no, you're stating your sovereignty. If 
a princess or a prince had a family member or a peer that was going around interrogating everyone, would you like pop off in a text message to them? Except stating your sovereignty? So stating your sovereignty, how would you proceed with said people? Think about it. Okay, if you were royalty, how would you handle the people slinging mud at you? And you guys are just trying to really figure out how to deal with those that are sending you spell work and, um, you know, trying to protect your loved ones because you don't want people thinking that, like, you're crazy, like, the people close to you. But you are being very protective of this time, but um, protective at this time about the people that you truly care about. And you guys are... <laughs> You guys are really stepping into that. I wonder what will happen next. Pause before action. What did I tell you guys? You guys are going to be moving swiftly every which way from Sunday. But when it comes to the certain people that you know will get into a back and forth, they won't admit anything. They won't take any accountability. They won't take any responsibility. You are going to pause before the action. You're going to be moving really swift to state your sovereignty, to state that you're leaving, you've outgrown this, you're gone, goodbye, capiche, and you're ready for adventure. You're like, I'm ready for adventure. I don't need fighting with them, I'm trying to prove my worth and why they shouldn't have done what they did. I'm royal. I'm going to fix my crown. I'm stepping into my sovereignty. I'm marinating in that. Okay. Pause before action. Right now is reaping season, so you're in a pause before action. Even if you go to say something nasty about somebody that, like, is mean to you, you're going to pause before saying it, or you're immediately going to be like, okay, you know what? Or you're going to really be careful of gossip right now, and that's why I always try to give you guys affirmations and ask affirmations because we want to echo back good things, and then at least while you're on my channel for like an hour or you know 30 minutes to an hour at least like you're being positive and those are some good things coming to you because all of the good things that you guys have ever done are being rewarded at this time you are reaping all of the good things that you've done so keep that good energy flowing don't get down in the mud with them don't fight with the barnyard animals it's not even worth it you are bambi you are protected you are destined to shine the end you guys let me know if you guys are seeing angel number 888 222 or 444 okay so i'm going to say that again 888 222 or 444 let me know if you guys are seeing those angel numbers and yeah um if you guys are looking for other ways to support my channel my cash app is down below and I also have Patreon where you guys can get exclusive content from me, pick a cards that you guys vote on. It's a lot of fun. And yeah, I just appreciate you guys so, so much. And yeah, let me know what's going on in the comments. Let me know where you guys are from and what you guys were sipping on during this. I was going to say live stream, but it's not a live stream. Let me know what you guys were sipping on during this message. And don't forget to smash the, you know what, hit the bell, duh. And yeah, just thank you all of you guys for joining my soul family. I'm so grateful. Our family is growing. It's growing. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys are doing a vision book, if you guys are doing a vision board, like what are you guys doing for manifestation right now? It could help somebody else. Let's all stay in like a really positive mindset. I know it's very, very easy to get off track, because people from your past are popping up like daisies and people in your present are very nosy right now. But understand this, your enemies are being silenced. They are not going to see this coming. You are being liberated and you deserve to be ahead of these childish games. So share your favorite manifestation techniques right now. Other besties in the collective can need it. Um... Yeah, I'm just so grateful. All right, what is going to be my favorite affirmation for this video? I got it. I am daring, direct, and fearless. I am daring, direct, and fearless. And then if you want to do ask affirmations, all you have to do is turn it into a question. And that is how you can manifest with least resistance. Where your brain isn't like, oh, you're saying all these I am's. These are false statements. 
So you can turn those into questions. Why am I so daring? Why am I so direct? Why am I so fearless? And then let your subconscious go on a hamster wheel of proving that to you instead of your subconscious immediately being like, that's false. I know that you're saying you're a princess right now, but you're not really not a princess right now. So say what you genuinely feel. If you genuinely feel the I am statements or whatever the statements are, then say them. But if you don't, and you know that you're going to be meeting a little bit of resistance, you guys can start with the ask formations and then go into the affirmations. So let me know which ones really help you guys. And I will see you guys in the comments. And yeah, I think that's it. Bye guys. Toodles.